Electroreception in Sharks by Eric and Joe. In recent years, scientists have begun looking into how to expand upon the five human senses through artificial means. However, in many instances of artificial sensory adaptation, nature has already given this ability to another organism through evolution. For instance, people have started experimenting with small magnets being implanted in their fingertips in order to sense magnetic fields. People with these implants claim to be able to feel the shape, intensity, and frequency of magnetic fields as the magnetic energy transduces into pressure and shaking felt in the finger. This ability is an artificial sensory perception roughly analogous to the electroreception found naturally in sharks, rays, and chimera. In living organisms, almost all atoms and molecules hold some sort of electrical charge. When molecules interact with other molecules, these electrical charges also interact. Because aquatic animals have different charges than the surrounding water, and the movement of the gills relies heavily on electrical charges, aquatic animals inadvertently emit an electrical field into the surrounding water, which is an excellent conductor due to its salinity. These fields, depending on their strength, can be detected by other organisms, including predators. A shark's electroreception is so powerful that it can detect up to one billionth of a volt. To put that in perspective, a typical shock that you may feel when touching metal is created from up to 10,000 volts of static electricity. In a more striking example, a shark could sense if a AA battery was turned off up to a thousand miles away. Electroreceptors are used as a shark enters its last stage of attack to guide their jaws. Many sharks roll back their eyes to protect them, but even when blind they know exactly where their prey is. The sense also serves as a way for a shark to sense any living prey from a long distance. When combined with the shark's lateral lines, which allow it to detect disturbances in the water by another animal, a shark can easily detect and track its prey. The heads of sharks are covered with thousands of pores, which make up the ampullae of Lorenzini. While the exact number of pores differs from species to species, most species have around 2,200, while hammerhead sharks average just over 3,000. The ampullae are split into three different clusters based on their location in the shark's head, sensitivity, and field detection direction. The three planes are the superficial ophthalmic group, the buccal group, and the mandibular group. The superficial ophthalmic cluster is positioned midway between the eye and the tip of the shark's snout. This is the cluster a shark relies on during the final stage of attack. The buccal cluster is located on the lower portion of the shark's snout, above the upper jaw. The buccal group aids in locating prey in front of and beneath the shark. The mandibular cluster is located beneath the lower jaw near the corner of the mouth and is the smallest cluster in sharks. In the great white, it only contains 13 canals. This cluster aids the buccal group in locating prey below the shark. It has been hypothesized that electroreceptors also can detect magnetic fields and serve as a compass for a shark. However, the compass sense is highly debated and is still being tested. In one case supporting the hypothesis, a great white shark was recorded swimming for 7,000 miles in a straight line. This ability, if it exists, is proposed to be broken down into the active and passive senses. When a shark uses the planet's magnetic fields, it's considered active. Alternatively, when the shark uses the flow of the ocean to plot its next course, the shark is using its passive sense. A canal that is about one millimeter wide and ranging from three to twenty centimeters in length connects each ampulla to the surface of the skin. The walls of the canals are very thick and excellent conductors. This canal is lined with sensory hair cells similar to that of the human ear and the entire chamber is filled with a gel. The hair cells within each ampulla serve as voltage detectors and release neurotransmitters when stimulated. There does not seem to be many limitations to the amazing ability of electroreception. This is possible because sharks are some of the oldest creatures still roaming the planet, and they've had time to home and perfect this sense. There only seems to be two apparent drawbacks. 
One, a shark cannot determine what species a particular target is based solely on their electronic signature. In order to discover what they are tracking, a shark must wait until their target is within visual range. You're going to need a bigger boat. The second drawback is that with the advancement of technology, humans have the ability to create devices which can overload the electroreception system, creating shark deterrence. Instead of a bigger boat, seafarers afraid of shark attacks just need this device, which creates an electrical field around a person, causing any sharks that swim too close to experience extreme discomfort. Through millions of years of evolution, sharks have developed an extraordinary sense that allows them to track and hunt with precision over great distances. Despite our technology, the closest we can get to mimicking electroreception is magnets in our fingertips. Between electroreception and lateral lines, real sharks put jaws to shame. Smile, you son of a 